What's going on Poochinators, Pooji here and welcome back to this week's Snapshot Update video. This week we're covering Snapshot 14W06B. Uh, in this snapshot there's actually a lot of uh, kind of crazy command block commands. And uh, usually I kind of understand them like the clone command, fill command, all that jazz in the uh, in a previous snapshot. But for some reason this uh, snapshot is kind of confusing. Uh, it's a little off the top, it looks a little weird so I won't go over the command blocks. Uh, so I'll just go over some of the other uh, survival aspects and just some of the other uh, usual things that you would find in a snapshot video. So first things first, there's a new uh, achievement, which has been a while since we have we've had a new achievement. Uh, I've had to earn a, some. I have uh, blah, I've had to earn some of them myself. So if you check the achievements bar here, you'll notice that there's a new one called Overpowered. Uh, basically, what you need to do is build a notch apple. But <laughs> the trouble was I had to complete all these other random achievements because I needed uh, to build an iron pickaxe first. So, uh, pretty simple. All you gotta do is build a notch apple and then you should get the overpowered achievement. So, pretty simple. It's just add something else into the game to kind of encourage players to make a notch apple. So, I feel like that was needed. It's, it's about time. And another thing which I actually need to go into survival to do, and you probably wouldn't notice that, uh, all the other achievements are in green like uh, build, building a furnace, uh, getting an iron ingot, making an iron pickaxe, getting diamonds. But the notch apple one's purple, so that just shows you how hard it probably is to get. It's purple, so it's like OP, OP mode, activate, all right. Uh, well, the next update has to do with slime. So previously, uh, slimes could not swim, you know, like if uh, a huge slime was chasing you, all you really had to do was jump across like a lake and get stuck in there. Now slimes, uh, they're kind of smarter, so hopefully some of them swim here. Yep, they, yep, that one's swimming, that one's swimming. Uh, some of them still sink, but you kind of saw there that they, uh, they're they able to kind of swim now. So let's spawn a couple more. Oh, God, these guys are huge. I'm going to die now. Stop it. Stop. Okay, let's just go into survival or creative. I uh, guess my pool wasn't big enough, but yeah, you'll notice that they kind of float up. Uh, some of them still... Uh, die unfortunately but that one kind of swims up so slimes have gotten smarter you can't out outsmart them anymore so that's that's kind of interesting but let's just kill them all off here this is a little annoying so let's just kill all of them get out get out get out hello 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 i'm in creative huh whoops okay well uh, another update that i personally noticed and i think some other youtubers may have noticed as well was um with mining, uh, I think especially wood, when you mine down, the block kind of flies straight into the center of the screen. So uh, if you're looking up into the center of the screen, it kind of just like flashes in. And then breaking wood now has this weird like yellow, or it did before, but not anymore. Yeah, on the oak wood it does. So like it makes that weird like yellow breaking mark. So I don't know what that's all about. But uh, let's kill some of these slimes so they can't hurt me anymore. Uh, if you notice... When I mine this, it goes straight into the center of my inventory, like it pops out and it goes straight back in. Uh, before it didn't do that, I never noticed it did that before, but now it does that, so uh, that's actually pretty cool. Maybe Mojang is trying to update the little drop, little animation things to just make it more uh, lovable. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, but I think that was that was a cool addition, especially like the new achievements and stuff. Oh, oh no, 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 no bueno, no bueno, no bueno. So, another thing with barrier blocks, uh, we're going to have to be in creative for this. Uh, if I were just to go into survival for a split second and I tried to run this way, I couldn't. I have built a barrier block here so I cannot get across unless I go around it. So anything here, I can't. Oh god, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Stop it. Get away from me. God. I think I have like seven notch apples on me. Oh, derp. Alright, well, as I was saying before I got in rudely interrupted, uh, I can't run past this barrier block, and the new addition is in creative mode. If you hold the barrier block item, which again you get by doing slash give, your username, Minecraft, and then barrier, which I typed red on accident. <laughs> Whoops. Give Mr. Poonchi Minecraft, and then you type in barrier, and you get a barrier block. So, uh, when you hold the uh, the barrier block in your inventory in creative, it actually shows you where all the different barrier blocks are. Uh, I think in the last snapshot, it didn't do that. They were invisible either way. You can only see the outline of the block, like right now. But now you get to see all of them. So when you're in creative, 
you can actually see where all the command or the barrier blocks are. So that's that's a cool addition. Kind of nerfs the barrier block a little just to show you guys. Uh, you can actually see them in uh, creative, not just they're completely invisible to the unknown eye. That made absolutely no sense at all. So another last thing was you probably you guys probably noticed like on a Minecraft minigame, whatever, sometimes uh, your hand does the weird like this thing. Uh, just look at my hand right now. Forget the flying thing. Just look at my hand. Sometimes it does that. Like your hand kind of glitches a little bit. Like it's off to the side. Now in this snapshot, when you fly up, uh, your hand stays the same, but as you descend, your hand kind of jerks off to the right. So when I press shift, as I descend, your hand kind of jerks off. And same thing here, uh, even, even if I'm on the ground and I press shift, I don't know why your hand kind of jerks off to the side. Like in F5 mode, it doesn't do that. But uh, in this mode, it kind of does first person, I guess. Kind of, look, every time I press shift, the hand kind of jerks down. And then, as usual, my screen tilts down because I'm like, getting closer to the ground, but... I have no idea if that's a glitch or not. Probably is considering it's a glitch on like Minecraft minigames and stuff. But I don't know. The hand just looks weird when it kind of looks like jerks off to the right like that. But that was this week. Snapshot, there wasn't too much to it. Uh, just some basic additions and some command block stuff that I'm not going to go over because I suck at command blocks. All that redstone jazz. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you didn't, make sure to leave a like. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I do daily Minecraft content. So think about subscribing. And uh, I'll see you guys later.